Hi everyone, this is Megan Von Sell, your cancer expert, and I'm the owner and CEO of Cancer Peace University, where it is our goal to set you free from the fear of cancer. And in this video, I'm also going to attempt to set you free from the fear of Herxheimer reactions. Herxheimer reactions are poorly understood, and many people are scared and nervous when they experience Herxheimer reactions during a healing process. Herxheimer reactions are also known as healing reactions, retracing, payoff, or healing crisis. And the body, when it receives the ingredients and nutrients necessary to heal on a profound level, will begin to replace damaged tissue with new tissue and start a profound regeneration process. And while the body's regenerating, it will also be releasing the damaged tissue, which contains toxins and endotoxins that will cause an increase of symptoms while the body is disposing of these damaged cells and toxins from the body's detoxification system. And a healing crisis is when the body's also trying to release more toxins than it's able to handle. And many times over a period of many years, the body will have many places of damage and will store many toxins in the body and protect the body from septic shock or instant death. And when the body is given the nutrients to heal on a profound level, this is when the body will start releasing these toxins and damaged tissue and will probably need more support to move through this process. And it's important to note that with a Herxheimer reaction, many times people will start going through a Herxheimer reaction and believe that that their symptoms are getting worse, the progression is happening, and their condition is actually worsening. And they may stop altogether and just believe that the protocol was not working. However, with a true Herxheimer reaction, it's important that we trust the process and trust that the body knows how to heal when given the proper nutrients. And if we can trust the process, we can also be grateful and celebrate that now my body finally has what it needs to heal and I'm moving through a process that will help my body restore vital tissue and regenerate damage to areas that have been damaged for many years. It's not so unlike a woman who is pregnant and has to go through labor pain to deliver her baby. Women expect an uncomfortable, painful process during a delivery to deliver their child. But many times when we're supporting the body to heal, we have improper expectations and we expect the process to be smoother than it is. And we expect to feel better automatically because we're supporting our body proper nutrition and proper supplements and holistic protocols. However, the body is wired to heal, but will not heal without moving through some level of Herxheimer reactions. At many different holistic cancer clinics, and even with Gerson therapy at their clinic, when clients and patients are going through a process of being supported holistically during a cancer diagnosis, these Herxheimer reactions are actually celebrated. There is actually a celebration when someone starts to go through Herxheimer reactions because these symptoms will show that the body is responding, responding in a profound way and that the body is getting what it needs to heal. There's actually more cause for concern when Herxheimer reactions and is being supported in a holistic manner during a cancer diagnosis. This will bring concerns that perhaps the body's not getting what it needs to heal. Perhaps the body is lacking an essential nutrient or an, an essential support to move through Herxheimer reactions in order to allow the body to heal and regenerate damaged tissue. I want to leave you with a few practical steps with Herxheimer reactions. 
First of all, I want to encourage you to trust the process. Just like a woman who delivers their baby forgets labor pain, get to the other side to enjoy a good amount of healing and good health will also forget the Herxheimer reactions they've gone through. I've seen many different Herxheimer reactions with my clients diagnosed with cancer from Need to sleep more, nausea, pain, symptoms in the immune system like flu like symptoms, fever, chills, or retracing from an infection that someone has had in the past that the body hasn't fully dealt with. Also, there can be symptoms of retracing with anxiety and panic attacks. Someone has a history of migraines. I've seen clients that have had injuries for a shoulder or a knee. And when their body is healing, that damage in the shoulder and the knee, they have symptoms identical to when they first had the injury. I had a client with to have elevation in liver enzymes and had discharge from her, her nipple during the Herxheimer reactions. And this was a part of the process of the body discharging and getting rid of the toxins and the damaged tissue related to the breast cancer diagnosis. So first of all, we want to trust the process. Second of all, we want to support the liver. We can support the liver through, we can support the liver through infrared saunas, there may be supplements that can support your liver if you can be tested through applied kinesiology and support the liver in a proper manner. You can also stop the protocol for a few days and restart at a lower dose and restart the process and give the body the nutrients needed to finish the Herxheimer reactions. If you're going through Herxheimer PTSD, like I would like to call it, if you're traumatized by Herxheimer reactions, you might need to take a break for a few weeks. The nutrients and start over and start slowly with a slow amount of the nutrients and prepare your mind and your heart and really help support your body through mentally being aware of the possibility of Herxheimer reactions. And if you are a very a meticulous person and more you want more numbers you can also test your body through tests i like to have my clients use the nagalase test there's also um iv gene there's different tests you can use to monitor progress the nagalase test will test for the strength of the immune system and whether and whether the body is dealing with some of the underlying cancer cells. Cancer cells release nagalase and viruses re release nagalase. And the lower the nagalase become, is becoming strengthened through this process and the more that we realize that there may be an improvement in the body dealing with CTCs or cancer stem cells or the circulating tumor cells. And the last thing I want to say is that if you're trying to discern whether you're going through a Herxheimer reaction or whether this is a progression of the disease, you want to use specific testing methods in order to discern. But you can also, and let's say you're using liver support, like an ionic foot bath, coffee enemas, or infrared saunas. If you feel profoundly better after a or infrared sauna, it's possible that you're supporting the liver properly and that you are going through a Herxheimer reaction. But again, you may want to have more testing in place. You may want to take it slow and back off and then try again. And you may go through cycles of healing reactions, knowing what your limits are. But that Herxheimer reactions, a true Herxheimer reaction can be the end of a major process of healing. And a true Herxheimer reaction is not something that will last forever. Just like a woman going through 
deliver. The pain many times feels like it's going to last forever. But many times with a Herxheimer reaction, when you feel like you've hit your max threshold of not being able to handle the symptoms any longer, many times that's right before your body finishes the process of re regeneration and you're, you're able to move into a place of balance and homeostasis. And hopefully this video has helped you understand more about Herxheimer reactions and how to better support your body. Make sure that you are mentally prepared and that you're encouraging yourself through meditation, through listening, listening to music to de-stress and remove any anxiety related to the symptoms and to support the body through mental um, understanding and also through positivity and reaffirming the process your body is going through through. If you are a holistic practitioner and you are wanting to learn more about Cancer Peace University and how to become a Cancer Peace University instructor, please send me a personal message or email me at cancerpeaceuniversity at gmail.com. We're now taking applications for our full course that begins in August and the next mini course that begins. Have a great Memorial Weekend and I look forward to talking with you soon.